the blue light ambulance service at the moment is safe from privatisation, but um, I work for PTF. But by blue light, just for people who don't know, you mean emergency. I mean, you mean like wah wah, because we see private ambulances on our streets already doing non-emergency uh, work. Absolutely, mate. Yeah, but no, not the blue light ambulances yet. But there's a company. Uh, there's a part of the ambulance service called PTS, yes. which is patient transport service, which takes your mum and dad and the non-blue light yes. to hospital appointments or care homes and that. And I'm very proud to work for the NHS. Yes. Sorry, mate, I'm quite upset about this. I, I can tell. You can take all the time you want, all right? I got, to I got told last month that um, my ambulance service has been bought out by a private company. I'm not going to say the name, no, but you can research it easy enough. Yes, but I will. Um, I'm absolutely gutted, and, I, and a lot of our work colleagues and my managers and supervisors are all gutted as well. Why? Um, why are you gutted? Why, why will it necessarily be bad news? Um, it won't be bad for me. It'll be... Well, see, the thing is... I don't, uh, I've, I've Take, got your, work time. Colleagues Take your time. Have, Take your time. There's no, pr I've no pressure. I've got work colleagues um, that work down in the south that have been taken over right. um, by privatisation companies already. And they, they've got no level of patient care, and they, right down to the uniform and everything. Now, if PTS has been bought out by a private company, I'm just a bit worried that in years to come, will Blue Light eventually be taken over? Because it's a scary prospect. But, but again, I'm, I'm hearing you, and I, and I, to a degree, share your concerns, but I, I, yeah. I want some more perhaps detail or description of, of, of what we uh, what we should fear. I, I mean, I, I can make the obvious point that if you commoditize patient care, if you turn it into something where people are looking at the bottom line first, they're looking at the money, because you don't buy a company except to make a profit, and, and you don't make a profit unless you can find a way of making more money or saving more money than the people that you bought the company off. That, that, that you know, you don't need a degree in economics to work that bit out. But it's not impossible... That, that you could run a company more efficiently without compromising, for want of a better phrase, customer care, is it? I don't know. Um, at the end of the day, the things... See, I'm the trying thing to is, think of an example, much. actually, but, but I'm struggling, but I'm sure there are I some. I've spoke to some of my work colleagues that yeah. have been taken over already, but I don't know whether I'm allowed to go and say the things they've told me because I'm going to be in... Am I going to be in trouble for the new company that's taken over All right. for slander or something. No, I, I think you'd be fine, but I don't want you to take any risks that you're not comfortable with. And I should, I, 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 you know, one, one of these days I'm going to come a cropper when I say this, but I'm pretty confident I'll have other people listening who can call in and, and put some flesh on the bones of, of what you describe. I think if, in, in emotional terms, for me, mm. listening to you, it's, it's, it's the idea, I, I always think of the private care workers. Uh, Ken Loach mentioned them yesterday. Who, who don't get paid between jobs. So it's like the clock starts when they arrive at a house and they've got 10 minutes to do 20 minutes or 30 minutes work and then they have to get to the next house and if they get stuck in traffic, they're not being paid and they end up earning less than the minimum wage for an actual hour where they weren't free to do whatever they wanted. They were essentially at work, but somehow not at work. And, and that's the kind of thing I hear of as a downside of privatisation. It wouldn't translate directly into, into, into patient transport services, but, but it's like a... It's like a, a, a harbinger, isn't it, of things to come? Yeah, I think so. But I don't think... I, what annoys me more, that I suppose this is the big thing, is I don't think anybody should be buying part of the NHS for their own gain when it's all of ours. Well, there's the bottom line. Every single ma one of us pay into it, you know? There is the bottom line. Say that again, will you? Yeah, I just don't think anybody should be buying bits of the NHS when it's all of ours. It's our baby, you know? We all pay for it every month. And that's it, isn't it? 